I'm about to set up a an Ableton session for a set that I'm going to be on. Um, I'm actually setting it up for the drummer. I'm playing bass on the set, but I thought I would... I was literally just on my couch about to do this kind of from scratch and was like, you know what, what the heck, I'll just make a little video of how I'm going to do this. So I have a blank Ableton session here. Uh, this is basically the default. The only thing different is I have a few effects on some of the whatever, because that's just how I everything default set up. But I'm going to be building this one in arrangement view um, because, uh, like I said, the drummer is running the track, so I want to you know, make sure everything's all, all good there. So, um, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a Q's MIDI rack. Um, I actually have a preset for this. I think it's called all Q's, yeah. Um, and I that's what I'm gonna use to um, play, play Q's, right? So, uh, they sound like this. One, two, three, four. That's fun. Um, and so I have songs that maybe I already have cues for that I'll just drop the MIDI files in. And some songs maybe I'll just have a, a count off. Or I'm also ending the set, so for some songs we'll just have click, to be honest. So this will be a really simple um, setup. So I'm gonna start, I'll start by saving this. It's probably wise. Um, probably wise. Let's just make a new one. Um, so this will be 2024, 20, what's Monday? The first, right? Boom, all right, let's do that. Um, okay, so our first song is Our God, actually, by Chris Tomlin, and that's gonna be an E flat. Usually make a note of it there. Um, and then let me look up what uh, what tempo this guy's. This guy is multitracks.com, beautiful resource, right? Let's just go to our God. Uh, wow. Hello, come on. Our God, boom. And if our God is fresh. 105, okay, nice. Very nice. Okay, so we're gonna start, we're gonna make our tempo 105. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do is I'm going to probably make it half of this only because I know for the most part, the rest of my songs, the tempos are gonna be like in the 70s. Um, and so I want the eighth note. So right now it's gonna sound like, ah, maybe I do want the subdivision. That's a good, I'm gonna switch my click sound. Versus, let's see. Yeah, we probably do want the subdivision. So let's just leave it at 105, four over eight. And then I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna put that um, 105. So the other track I need to make really quickly is an IAC um, track, an IAC driver track. Um, I usually call this track control. Um, and I put it up towards the top. And the output needs to be IAC driver bus one. So if you don't already have that active in the um, in the audio MIDI setup, um, this is how you do that audio MIDI setup. Um, IAC driver, you're just gonna want to make sure that device is online. So <clears throat> so in MIDI, we'll see it IAC driver. We want our input to be um, sorry, our output to be track, and our input to be remote. It's all right that I have track uh, selected as well. Um, but basically what that means is the output of the IAC driver will be sending notes, like notes on a keyboard, but the input will receive those notes not as playing a note on a keyboard, but as control for the actual session, which you guys probably already know that. So uh, I'm gonna create a couple of different values. So I'll have a, um, our God will come in I'll just make a block of this just to help us see kind of our different songs, right? So our God, E flat, 105. And um, what I'll do is I'll hit a repeat. Um, and so what that means is I'm just gonna put a, I'm gonna select our, um, our, uh, Bottom note. I'm just gonna hit the bottom note down here. Oh, I don't want it over here. I want it like 
over here. Yep. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to program this note to hit this locator, right? So um, the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to hit MIDI, hit this, and I'm just going to hit play. It's going to map that. So now once I hit play, boom. So it's just going to keep that, that tempo going the whole time for us. Um, so super easy. I'm going to go ahead and mark on my key, my like key assign. I'm going to go ahead and mark this as one. So we're going to have our songs one, two, three, four, five, or whatever. Um, I like to have tap as capital, oops. I like to have tap as capital T. I like metronome to be capital M. Um, yeah. Cool, so that's song one. Let's move on to song two. That was easy, right? <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah, we're doing that in A. This one will have some tracks to it. So I'm gonna open my tracks folder. I think it's under, no, uh, it's under JC. This is it, yeah. So like I said, I have cues for this one already. So I'm gonna drop the cues in here. One, two. But I still need to change the tempo. So the way we're gonna change the tempo is we're actually gonna have, hmm, how do I wanna do this? You guys are kind of just w along for the ride with this, which is kind of fun. Um, okay, let's do this. Let's insert an audio track. This will be our tempo track. No input, no output. Mute it, doesn't need to be doing anything. And we're gonna use this dummy audio to basically assign our tempo, which it looks crazy. I'm just gonna gain it down, it's fine, whatever. So this one, we're gonna warp it and it's gonna be 105 and we're gonna set it as the lead. We're gonna do the exact same thing over here. We are going to warp it. We're gonna set it to the tempo it needs to be. Then we're gonna set it as the lead. So that one, way, two. boom, right? And then we'll probably rename these, right? Um, so we've got Our God 105, Alleluia 70. Let me make it say BPM on this. Um, and then let's unloop that cue and then we can extend this however long we want. So let's go ahead and drop the, um, the tracks in. And then I'm gonna make my tempo track red as well, just to kind of, Create a little bit of consistency here. Let's delete this. Oh, I don't want to delete that actually, because that's our, our repeat. And what note is this? This is, what is this? C negative two. Cool, let's do that. Let's see how that goes. So this is our, these are tracks for Alleluia. They're loud. Let's go ahead and group these. This will be Alleluia, key of A, 70 BPM. So all of these, let's go ahead and extend this a little bit. All of these will be warped, but they will be following the leader. They will not be the leader. So make sure this is on follow. And the other thing we need to do, we don't need these cues. Effects, perk, I like those to be orange. Arp span, we don't need ref. Strings, synth, bridge, okay. So I like my uh, my key stuff to kind of be in the blue realm. Strings can be in the purple realm. And then assign those. And then we're gonna pitch some of these up, right? So um, these need to go up a semitone because we're in A actually. <laughs> And then I usually like to map these out. So we've got intro, One, two, two, intro, two, three. This is verse one, I think. Verse. Yep. Chorus. Here's chorus one. This is where the drums are in. Turn around. Reintro. Verse. I 
do usually want to um, do a little sub drop in here. Uh, but it's always way too loud. Drums in. Yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be pretty loud. It's probably gonna be too loud still. And then I usually this is just an extra freebie. We're just kind of diving in. I usually like to distort my, or saturate, I should say, my sub drops just to help them, because I still, and I mix it down, so that way the low end is still nice and powerful, but you just get some of those upper harmonics that not all sub drops have. So that way, even now, I'm listening on my MacBook speakers, I can hear that way easier. So it's like, I stop, I stop without this distortion, I can't hear it anymore. But now, I kind of hear it all the way through. But the low end is still, massive you know so it's just a little little tidbit for you um bridge build let's all the angels cry out all the angels cry out again we're open refrain here's hallelujah Then we bring it down and we'll just let the tracks ride from here. So this is where we'll add another repeat, right? Um, so let's just set it to repeat right here, just for fun. Um, so we'll come in to our control. We'll command shift M MIDI. Hold on, let me pull up my little, my keyboard shortcut thingy. That way you guys can see what I'm doing, right? Is it on? Enable layer. Is it showing it? It's not showing it. That's weird. Come on. So, uh, modifier and special keys only, I guess? I don't know. Oh, it's not. Hold on. Yeah, so now it should be on the top. All right. So, check this out. Check this out. Yeah, yeah. So, if we go Command Shift M here. Wow, is it doing that? Command Shift M. Boom. Hey, Miles. All right, command shift in, boom. Here we go. Pause this. Hey, Miles, what are you doing? You watching Ruffalo? Oh, it's so cool. Let me show you something. Who is that? So I'm just gonna choose another note to repeat, right? So we did C negative two, now we'll probably do C sharp. Wow, negative two, boom. So we'll just come around to the end of this guy, C sharp, negative two, and we will map it to this locator. Let's go ahead and check that. Boom, that's gonna keep us in a nice little loop there let's delete this stuff okay so that's that's alleluia we can move on now to let's jump ahead a little bit um over here our next song is a song called elohim i'm gonna do that in g can't remember the tempo off the top of my head um 67 okay we're just gonna call this Elohim. We'll bring in another tempo track. We'll just copy and paste it right here. Elohim, 67 BPM. Hey buddy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna unlead this tempo track, change the tempo to 67, and then remake it the lead. So now our tempo is 67. Um, a girl's singing this, so I have, my son is eating apple right there. Um, we can drag in these cues that I already Intro, have. Intro, two, three, four. Great. Um, and then let's make a new... So first of all, I like, I kind of like to keep stuff the same color. 
So Alleluia was just randomly chosen as that one. I'm gonna make Alleluia that color, that tempo track, that color, just to kind of keep us all in line. Then I'm gonna pull in all of these except for the cues. Why can't I do that? They might not be downloaded from Dropbox. Let's check that right now. Uh, they are not downloaded from Dropbox. Let's get those downloaded ASAP. Miles, get out of the recycling. All right, boom, those are all good. Intro. Um, probably not gonna need that EG, but you know, whatever. We'll have it if we want it. Um, these are already in a decent order. All right, so this one's pink now. We'll make that pink. This is Elohim, E of G, uh, 67 BPM. Perk needs to be orange. Um, guitars are green. None of these greens are awesome. Oh, that's kind of nice. Blue. Whatever. Let's do that. Miles, what are you doing? Okay, then the same thing. We'll warp these, but they will not be the leader. They will just be intro two followers. Three, four. We might need to gain these up a little bit comparatively. Intro. Yeah, we're gonna need to gain these up. So I'm just gonna grab them all, gain them up. I don't know, seven dB. See where that gets us. Maybe that's a little better. Maybe eight. Oops. I'm doing it's doing that because that's the tempo leader, and so it's freaking out that I'm trying to change the tempo. But all right, let's map this Intro, one out. Intro two. Three, four, intro, verse. This is pre-chorus. Chorus. Intro, two, three, four, verse. Up shops. On the channel, here comes the bridge. bridge. Two, three, four. Bridge. Chorus. Breakdown. Two, three, four. So let these tracks go. And we'll get ready to make our repeat right here. Zoom in a little bit. So it changed tempos because our tempo tracks stopped right there. Let me zoom in on this audio. Yeah, let's make it right here. Back it up. All right, let's make another Command Shift M control guy and we'll make this um d negative two oops repeat d negative two get ready to midi that guy here we go boom let's check it boom um also something i haven't said that is worth noting <clears throat> is that um, you need to make sure that your global quantize is on, I keep mine on a bar all the time, but if it's on none, you're gonna, it's gonna go like this. Because it's not waiting for that next downbeat, so keeping it on one bar is usually good, so that way no matter 
where you put that MIDI note in that clip, it's always gonna repeat. You can see the little green arrow flashing here. Yeah. Anywho, um, the next two songs will be click only for us. Um, and so I'm not gonna show you that. I'm just gonna go ahead and end this video. Um, but one thing I wanted to hit before I ended is um, let's say we're in soundcheck and we want to change the arrangement or let's just say something easy like we'll duplicate a bridge all you have to do is select let's say we want this let's say we want this instrumental to be longer in elohim or the bridge let's just do the bridge why not all you have to do command shift d boom it duplicates everything in the timeline and then we'll just make a new marker bridge repeat and then we'll just want to make sure that our cues like correspond. That's the good thing about using MIDI cues is I can go in and now change this cue to be whatever I want. Bridge. So it still says bridge, which is fine. So I'm gonna undo that. Um, and then the same thing. So we used Command Shift D to duplicate time. We can also say that Hannah only wants to do this bridge once. All we have to do, Command Shift Delete, will take that away. Bridge. So that's where we'd want to go in and make sure that our cues are actually corresponding. So I could change this from bridge to chorus. Now that I've deleted that bridge. Chorus. Here's the chorus. I will say though, on in all practicality, if Hannah actually did want to cut this bridge, what I would do personally is instead of cutting the entirety of bridge two, I would cut halfway from bridge one to bridge two. So that way it's a little more, I'll just play the difference. Uh, so command shift delete, right? We're gonna go in, this is already a chorus, because basically we've just taken half a bridge one, which is more down, half a bridge two, which is more up. That's gonna actually create the dynamic that we want. So now the bridge sounds like this. Here comes where we would start building because we've cut a bridge. Anywho, I don't want to do any of that. I want to leave the bridge perfectly as is. Um, cool. So now that we have that, I will, I'm going to put in the rest of my songs um, with repeats and such. But that's kind of how I set up my, uh, my tracks. Um, I like to have the tracks in groups. Um, maybe, I'll ex maybe I'll expand them, keep them expanded. It kind of just depends. Um, and like I said, I, I built this in arrangement view because a drummer is going to be running this session. It's usually easier for them, um, to do arrangement view. Otherwise when I, in my normal setup, I'm usually using session view, which is this kind of top down view. So anyway, I hope that makes sense. This was so random. I didn't really put a lot of thought into this. I was just like, Hey, I have to do this anyway. Might as well record it. Why not? Kind of fun. So anyway, hope you guys have a great day. I hope this was helpful. Um, yeah, be blessed.